Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. And uh, this article here in a way is sad, uh, but it makes me kind of happy too in a way. Um, the New York City to start involuntarily hospitalization, hospitalization, putting people in the hospital, <laughs> mentally ill residents. Now that's the sad part, you know, but yet they're trying to get them off the streets, I think is what the deal is. We'll go down here and read further. Hospitalization, mentally ill residents. There, I got it. It appears that New York City is finally taking action to deal with its serious homelessness and mental illness crisis. As Mayor Eric Adams, Democrat, has announced that the city will soon begin to hospitalize mentally ill residents involuntarily. During a press conference on Tuesday, the Democrat mayor announced that New York City's first responders would now be allowed to remove individuals who appear to be mentally ill and pose a danger to themselves and transporting them to a hospital for evaluation, holding them until treatment plan can be established. In the press conference, Adams argued that it is not acceptable for us to see someone who clearly needs help and walk past, noting that a gray area has existed far too long, in which the city's policy law and accountability have not been clear, and this has allowed people in need to slip through the cracks. He sounds like a good man. This culture's uncertainty has led to untold suffering and deep frustration, the mayor added. It cannot continue. We need to change the culture and clarify our expectations. No more walking by or looking away. No more passing the buck. Going forward, we will focus on action, care, and compassion. That has been needed for so many years for the homeless, you know? And sometimes when I watch these programs, it's amazing. There's this one show I watch, <clears throat> one channel, and I can't remember how it goes. I just have to come upon it to see it. But this guy, in this mall is musical and there's a piano there in this great big hallway of this mall shopping center and when you least expect it someone will sit down at that piano that is scrubby dirty hair matted you know they've been on the streets they've been living on the streets but boy, have they got talent. And they had talent to begin with before times ran over their life. Life's dreams, probably. They lost their job. They got maybe hooked on drugs or booze. Maybe their wife left them, took the children. You never know what other people's lives are like. Whether they look like a hobo, or a bum, or a street. I call street divers. Because when you're lost, where do you go? You have nowhere to go but to the streets. And God loved this man with his dream. And I hope to pray he gets all the backing he needs to do this. To help these people. The ones that can be helped get back on their feet. Get them back into humanity. Make them feel like a real person again. <clears throat> Adam went on to say that the New York City has a moral obligation to help individuals get treatment and care if severe mental illness is causing them to be unsheltered and a danger to themselves. 
It begins with an immediate shift in how we interpret our obligation to those in need and calls upon our outreach workers to take deeper actions and more intensive engagement, he continued. We can no longer deny the reality, the reality that untreated psychosis can be a cruel and all-consuming condition that often requires involuntary intervention, supervised medical treatment, and long-term care. We will change the culture from the top down and take every action to get care to those who need it. On Tuesday, Adams issued a directive to first responders which outlined the procedures necessary to remove an individual from mental health concerns. The Directive Cities New York State's Mental Hygiene Law stating that a peace officer, police officer, or mental health professional working on a mobile crisis outreach team is able to take an individual into custody or direct them to be removed for a psychiatric evaluation if that individual appears to be mentally ill and is conducting themselves in a manner likely to result in serious harm to self or others. Positive. Finally, finally, we hear something positive. And you know the job those people are going to have in New York City. And all other cities and all other big states. I mean, they've got to be strong people. they got to be law-abiding citizens and compassionate. According to the Daily Wire, the directive also instructs mobile crisis workers, police, firefighters, and EMS workers to escort or facilitate, facilitate transport to the nearest hospital to inform hospital staff of the person's condition and remain with him or her until he or she is admitted as a patient. Compassion. After the mentally ill individual has been admitted, the city would instruct the hospital to keep the individual in the facility until they are in stable condition. Don't you think this also gives that homeless person and maybe unstable person though just a little bit of hope? You know, and respect. Dignity back. And they might snap out of it. He's got to be one of God's angels. Mayor of New York City, he's got to be one of God's, God's uh, angels. And everybody that works under him, in every city, every state, that will carry out his wishes, his ideas, to save. Yes, yes, yes. They're all God's angels. and to only release them after they establish a long-term care plan, according to Adams. The mayor has also announced a hotline and new training to assist first responders in assessing a situation in order to make a determination about whether to remove the individual. The common misunderstanding persists that we cannot provide involuntary assistance unless the person is violent, suicidal, or presenting a risk to imminent harm, imminent harm, Adams said. This myth must be put to rest because that was just like passing the buck. If you see somebody in stress, you see a homeless person, maybe begging for food or money in a cup so you can get a sandwich and you just walk right on by, you don't care. You got plenty of food to eat. You got a warm home to go to. You got a loving wife or a loving husband at home, children. But that poor man just needed a couple of coins, maybe enough to buy a sandwich. Maybe he hadn't ate in two or three days, because they don't. You know, going forward, we will make every effort to assist those who are suffering from mental illness or whose illness is endangering them by preventing them from meeting their basic human needs. 
The left is already accusing the Democrat mayor of being a fascist and, tar and targeting the poor and violating human rights for his actions. Some have been, some have even argued that it is a move backward for disability rights. How? I'm sure that he will help anyone that can get put on disability. A lot of those people in the streets have tried disability programs and they were denied just because they can walk and talk. They can hold a job. They can walk and talk. If they got a pain in their back, they'll get over it. It's just because they're laying in the street on the hard cement. That's all. Oh. Mm. I pray for the mayor of New York City. Let's give him a prayer that at least he's got the right idea. I've never seen or heard anybody else come up with something like this. Have you? No. Pass the buck to somebody else. We don't care. It's our people. It's our homeless. And we don't give a damn. What kind of people are we? Oh, good gravy, Gertrude. In my town, medium-sized town, and other towns, we don't have this problem. It's the bigger cities. They've got to do something to help those people. Get them off the streets. Clean their streets up. I mean, I've heard stories. You don't want to walk down homeless streets where homeless people are because they have no bathroom. So what do you think they do? You'll be walking in it. I think you can read it everywhere. And the people that have visited New York City will come back and tell you all about it. The stink, the stench. And these poor people are living in it. Oh, no, I can't do it. No, I can't do it. Okay. Uh, um, I will pull myself together as usual. Uh, prayers galore, people. Prayers galore for the mayor of New York City. And I pray that he gets all the backing he needs and starts getting those streets cleaned up and getting those people the help they really need. Amen. That's all I've got to say. Okay, I'm going on to another article. And God bless you. I'll be right back.